Hey guys, so here we are. It's another Friday. <laughs> um, this is the seventh coaching call uh, in the series, my free coaching Friday. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. I wanted to start off with two things. First, happy Mother's Day weekend. Uh, it's a special weekend. Make sure that you're celebrating all the moms out there. I am completely missing my mom. Um, but, you know, I try and carry on traditions uh, with things that she's taught me. So I know that we're going to be doing some fun stuff on Sunday. So I'm really looking forward to it. So make sure you spoil all those moms. Um, and then the other thing is, so I had to share. <laughs> because sometimes silly stuff is the best medicine of all, right? So best medicine, <laughs> I come home, I was out for a walk or something yesterday and I went to go back to my desk and on my desk is sitting this sign <laughs> and this. <laughs> so, um, so Matt thought it would be funny to get this for me. Uh, he went to Staples, he had to get some supplies for work and he thought it would be funny because it would make me feel a little normal. Even though I already work from home, but <laughs> whatever we can do to have a little sense of normal. And it was funny and it's really cute. So I'm gonna keep them on my desk because um, it's just something that makes me laugh every time I walk over. Okay, so for today, uh, what I wanted to talk about was the um, kind of the state of our mental health right now during the whole COVID crisis. Um, it's just really important to cover. Ooh, we have a Kristen today. Thanks for watching. Um, and it's just really important to talk about our mental health because we're all going through this, every single one of us. Love you too. And uh, we just have to kind of address it. We need to be communicating and talking to loved ones. I'm, I've been seeing just some really down posts on social media and it's hard for people, um, you know, whether they have mental health issues that they're struggling with prior to this happening or even, um, you know, this whole crisis has turned into some issues for them. So I just thought that we could, you know, hash out some things on the list. I have lots of notes today, uh, so bear with me. I just think this is a really important topic because all in all, this, your mental health plays into your total well-being and your health. So listen in. Okay, so we're all feeling it right now, like I said, in some capacity. We're having um, some kind of effect with everything that's going on. You know, our sense of normal has really changed right now. Um, this is, have been, it's been a major shift uh, from teachers, you know, having to, uh, you know, work from home and having that total disconnect with not being with their students one-on-one. -on -one. I know that they're, that they're feeling it big time. Um, just using them as an example and that normal for our kids to be going to school every day. You know, I see it in my kids, their schedules have completely shifted. Thankfully, they're getting their work done. Um, uh, they're doing it. I can't say that they're doing it at all the times that I would, but I'm not going to, um, you know, go there with them because they're managing it and they're still getting good grades and you got to pick your battles and that's just not one of them for me. Uh, so, uh, with that, I will say that, uh, you know, we have drastically changed a lot of different things, um, with how we're doing things. We're going out to the store. Okay. So me, big baby, <laughs> I still have not gone to the grocery store. Matt goes every time I did finally go to the dollar store because I needed to get mother's day cards. And I like to send out mother's day cards to, um, all the aunts and on both sides of my family every year, just a tradition that I started. And I'm like, I have to go get the cards. So I had to walk in the store, obviously like all of you, I just haven't done it yet. I had to put my mask on and, and it was very uncomfortable and it's just part of what we have to do right now. And it's just so different. So it's just making that adjustment. I may be trying to hit the grocery store today. I'm, I'm building my way up <laughs> slowly because there's just certain things I have to get at this point that Matt can't find. Um, and I'm super picky. Okay. Anyway, uh, the social isolation, um, you know, that has been very difficult. Uh, social media helps, um, you know, in just having that contact by phone and having meaningful conversations um, is huge. But just we are being affected by that, not being in person with our friends, our family, our loved ones that we like to check in on a regular basis that poses a big problem. Um, and then just the financial crisis, my goodness. I mean, so many that I know are either fur furloughed, they've lost their jobs. Um, you know, a lot of people are just unemployed right now and it's hard to find that way of forming a schedule that you could stick to to kind of keep you motivated and on, um, you know, on pace with a day with a schedule. It's, it's very, it's challenging to say the least. 
Um, and then, you know, just businesses closing and, and just hearing all of that. The other thing that, you know, a lot of people are, you know, building up a lot of anxiety and stress over is just the fact that they're scared to get sick. They're scared that their loved ones are going to get sick. You know, what if, you know, people, we channel all these things in our mind of what if, what if I'm out and I go to the store and I get exposed, I bring it home, I get my loved ones sick. It's just all that anxiety, it builds up. Um, you know, and it's all ramping up right now, especially for those that have mental health issues. You know, it's very, it's very much intensified. Um, so, I mean, why am I talking about it? Because, you know, stress and anxiety, like I had said in the beginning, it does impact your mental health. The strength, stress and anxiety impacts your overall health. So um, it's just, it's hugely important that we do this. You know, with, with my health coaching that I do, I do a lot of food, I do a lot of like exercise, movement and all that. But um, we do touch on like life coaching and mental health coaching of just doing certain basic things like just decluttering to help you focus and get things done and doing self care and things like that. It's just, it's hugely important. So that's all kind of like, I wanna say the bad part of everything. So I wanna just talk a little bit about I know we are a little crazy anyway. <laughs> uh, the, the, the bad part, you know, we're going to turn lemons into lemonade a little bit and how we're going to move forward to kind of combat the anxiety and the stress and um, everything else that we're incurring on a daily basis. Um, and these are things that I've highlighted throughout all the sessions that I've done so far. It's a repeat, but I find that if you repeat something enough, it sinks in. So nothing wrong with repeating. Um, cause a lot of this really does correlate to, um, your mental health and your physical whole body health. Uh, so, um, I did a session on sleep and you can find that one on my site. I will post all that after this. Um, I have all the sessions there that you can watch at any time at your leisure on a Friday night. <laughs> you can tune into my YouTube channel and have a good time. So, um, sleep is so important, right? Um, so we're supposed to be getting seven to eight hours of sleep, they're saying, and sticking to a schedule helps and having a circadian rhythm built up um, that you are, you know, consistently sticking with um, as much as you can, as best as you can every day. The one thing, are any of you experiencing crazy vivid dreams? Because I know we are, and like every morning we come downstairs and we're all talking about our crazy dreams that we had. It's, <laughs> it's nuts. I mean, and it's so vivid and real that you so feel like it's happening. And when you wake up, it's like a shock almost that, um, that it was a dream. But this is something that's happening uh, nation or, you know, worldwide, not just nationwide, worldwide. People are having more vivid dreams because we're, we're sleeping more and we're actually getting to that REM level more with our sleep. And when you have that REM sleep, you're having more detailed, vivid dreams. So it's pretty interesting. Uh, I would say Google it because I started looking into it and I was like, oh my gosh, I could do a whole session just on the dreams. I just am really fascinated by them. Um, they say too that it's, you know, you're pulling in the anxieties of what you're going through with all of the crisis. Um, and it's coming out in our dreams. And I, I'll share, I mean, two of the dreams I've had have been anxiety dreams about my kids. Um, just that, you know, they went somewhere, I didn't know where they went, and there was no way for me to communicate with them. I had my cell phone to contact them, and then all of a sudden my cell phone turned into a calculator, because <laughs> this is what happens in dreams, right? So I'm like, how am I gonna call them on a calculator? <laughs> it's, I know. Anyway, I will move on. So um, the next thing is regular movement. This helps so much with anxiety and stress, as I have talked about. Um, you know, there's, this is, Right, right now and so important on many, many levels for our mental health, yes, uh, for our physical health, for fighting the whole COVID-19 virus and getting that cardio workout in every day, at least 30 minutes will help you tremendously fight off, um, you know, any kind of, uh, you know, horrible effects from the COVID-19. So you just wanna make sure that you're getting exercise in. It helps on so many levels, why not do it? We all feel great when we're done with it. So we just have to tune into that after feeling and knowing how we're going to feel when we're done. Um, the next thing is eating healthy, which I can go on and on about this. This is hugely important to me. And I have um, been staying on point with this, of course, not perfectly, but um, for the most part, I try to eat 80 to 90% um, very healthy foods, um, you know, nutrient dense. It's hugely important um, getting like just your whole foods, your fruits, your veggies, your leafy greens. 
uh, limiting sugar because it's inflammatory. Uh, so if you're gonna have anything sweet, try and keep it to fruits or natural sweeteners like uh, honey, maple syrup, maybe even like coconut sugar instead of regular uh, cane sugar. Um, and then the other thing, and I have found this with anxiety for me, caffeine. <laughs> and I love my coffee and I have my coffee in the morning and I will have one in the afternoon. But one morning it was like a dreary day and I was like, oh my gosh, I was dragging. The fatigue was just out of this world with the MS and I'm like, dude, I gotta get another cup of coffee. Well, I did it and then I was paying the price the rest of the day. The, my anxiety was so ramped up all day, I just couldn't control it and it was, it's the worst feeling. Anxiety is the worst feeling because you just really can't control it, you know, when it comes to, you know, overstimulating yourself with caffeine or something like that. So um, I just say try and limit the caffeine. Uh, and I would like to get down to one cup a day and eventually that's my goal. Um, but, you know, sometimes with the MS and the fatigue, it's kind of a go-to for me and I'll do like a non-dairy creamer with it. Um, so that is that. And then the other thing is, and I know a lot of people aren't going to want to hear this, is... Um, Oh, hey, I see Mark and Linda on here. I'm so glad you guys are here. Um, so avoiding alcohol and tobacco, drugs, uh, that sort of thing, it's just gonna make everything worse, um, especially with the COVID. If you're smoking or anything like that, you don't wanna be affecting your lungs any worse. Um, so um, this is the best time to quit. <laughs> And that's all I will say. Um, alcohol, just it kind of reduces your coping skills. Maybe for the moment it will help you, but um, it's really going to just make things worse. It's going to throw off your schedule. It's going to throw off your sleep. It's going to make you feel like crap. So um, I know people are still going to be drinking, but just limit it. Just don't be, you know, excessive with it. Um, and then limiting your screen time is big because... Um, that is, I mean, it's like when you're looking at the screen at night, it is like drinking a cup of coffee before you go to bed. It's just that blue light stimulates your brain and you can't shut it down. So it's just, it's really important. <laughs> I, I said, just limit it, Kristen. It's okay. One cocktail is okay. <laughs> um, with the screen time though, I would say try and shut it down 30 to 60 minutes before you go to bed, just so that you don't have that immediate exposure and then trying to close your eyes and fall asleep. I've done it and it's harder to go to sleep. Um, it, you know, it does kind of, it takes longer for that whole process to start. So read something, read a magazine, read a book, um, chill out, you know, find a project or something that you can do, have some nice little relaxing time um, before you go to bed. Um, and then the other thing is just relaxing and recharging. Um, it just really helps our mind and having that self-care that we all need. Um, I mean, yesterday, for example, I sat on the front porch with my daughter and our dog, and it was just so nice to have the phones away and you know we were playing with our dog and having just wonderful quality conversation i mean that is one thing i will say has been tremendous with this whole experience is having conversations with uh, my kids and like deep conversations and things that maybe we wouldn't have talked about um you know if we were just doing the normal thing day to day so um take advantage of that time and it's so it's so important um but just doing anything like deep breathing meditation yoga um, listening to music, you can have a dance party in the kitchen. I do that sometimes. And sometimes I do it by myself <laughs> because they all run out. <laughs> but um, just whatever kind of gets you going and is kind of your self-care. But I do that when I'm cooking and I like to listen to the music loud and because it's my happy place and I just love it. So um, the other thing with reducing stress, just a couple other things I'm gonna hit on is, I'm gonna say it again, is keeping a routine is huge. So um, a little suggestion is, you know, I have like the Google calendar on my phone and I set it up and I have like my time blocked throughout the day. So, um, you know, I do my promo business stuff in the morning. I have a time block. I time block when I'm going to work out. Then I time block um, some stuff that I'm doing with my health coaching and Facebook, social media stuff. And then, you know, so throughout the day, I kind of time block different things, you know, when I'm going to walk the dog. And I know it might sound silly, but... It's important right now that we have a schedule and you, when you can have something to revert back to and help you stick with that schedule, I say, hey, by all means, go for it and do it. Um, it will help. And, um, you know, limiting your exposure to the news because let's just admit this, it's a downer. And yes, we need to be informed. I'm not saying that we need to be ignorant and not know what's going on, but we need to not be so in tune all the time because it is a downer and it's gonna take you down a bad, sad place. So stay tuned just on a limited basis, maybe block times 
you know, first thing in the morning and maybe like mid to late afternoon. So it's not right before you go to bed either. So it's not top of mind. Um, and just focusing on positive thoughts, you know, just trying to focus on things that make you happy. Um, you know, one thing I was talking to my brother today and we were talking about the weather and it's been a very cold spring, um, which is kind of a bummer, but I'm like, you know what? The good thing is, is there's a light at the end of the tunnel. I know that summer is like right around the corner. I know that it's going to get warmer. We're not approaching winter. <laughs> we are approaching summer. So this makes me so happy. So it's just focusing on the things that make you happy and that are positive in your life. Um, the other thing is having a connection to that which is greater. So whatever that is, if that's, you know, your religion, your meditation, whatever that is for you, it's really important to make that connection. Um, and then just setting priorities and a reasonable goals every day of what you want to get done. Um, it doesn't have to be a laundry list of things. Make it one or two things that you just really want to get done in that day. And then crossing it off the list is like such a great feeling that you could do it. Mine today is getting to the store. It's going to happen. <laughs> Um, and then just staying connected with family, friends, by phone, FaceTime. I know the Zoom thing. I don't know if that's overkill at this point. Um, but just having engaging conversations, like I had said, is just really important. And it does help. It helps the soul so much. Um, and just ho offering help to others. So important. Um, and then fi the final thing that I'll just hit on is just being aware of what doesn't feel right to you. If you're going down a path that just doesn't feel right, like things are just getting worse. You need to talk to family, you need to talk to friends, um, you need to check in with your doctor to get, you know, evaluated. Um, you know, uh, everybody has, you know, something to look forward to every day. There's always something that we have that we can hold on to, that we believe in, that, you know, will carry us through. So you just have to tap into those things. Um, but it's hugely important that if things do go down a bad path that you get the help um, and you get it quickly. Um, so that is pretty much it. The, I just wanted to say again, happy Mother's Day weekend to everybody. Make sure you're taking care of your moms. I am running a group right now. It's called Move That Bod and it's going awesome. I'm getting a lot of interaction. People are doing their workouts every day, which is just something, again, to look forward to and schedule into your day. It's going to help on so many levels. It's a free group and it's been awesome. Um, we're going to be transitioning that group. Um, when, I, when we close that out, I'm going to be doing a 14-day clean eating challenge, which is going to be awesome. So I'll be posting more information about that and uh, sharing all that with you guys. But I highly recommend it. I, it was a game changer for me when I did this whole 14-day challenge with just clean eating, whole foods. It's not, a, um, it's not a cleanse where you're not eating. You're still eating three meals a day. It's simple cooking, simple foods, and you have no cravings. It's pretty amazing. So um, I will leave everything with that. And if you guys have anything, if you want to reach out, please, by all means, reach out to me. You know where to find me on Facebook. Um, my website is christyhealthcoach.com. You can find me there. And I'd be happy to help you out. Enjoy your weekend. Take care of those moms. <laughs>